Hello family, grace to you. Once again, this is Greg coming to you from faithsmessenger.com. Today I want to talk about persistence in prayer. Persistence in prayer. You know, when we pray, things happen. But they happen behind the scenes. They happen in the realm of the Spirit. It's up to us to trust and to exercise patience to see the answer to our prayer. And it kind of reminds me of the Chinese bamboo tree. Now this little bamboo tree when planted shows no evidence or signs of growth at all. The farmer nurtures the soil, he, he waters the ground where he planted the, the plant, but one year goes by, two years go by, three years go by, and in the fifth year, finally, there's a little green spring that comes up from the ground. And that little Chinese bamboo tree grows eight feet in the first six months. Now, had that farmer given up in years one through four and a half or five, he wouldn't have received the harvest. He would not have seen the results of his labor. The same is true with prayer. Prayer requires patience. Prayer requires trust. And so much of the time, we give up on prayer before we see the results of what we prayed for. The process of growth for that bamboo tree, during the first five years, that tree is, the root system is developing. The tree's roots don't grow down, they grow out, they spread out. That growth is necessary to sustain the end product, to sustain the actual stalk of the tree. If there were no foundation for that little tree, it wouldn't survive. It wouldn't survive the wind. It wouldn't survive the weather. It wouldn't survive all that it'll have to survive once it springs up. So the building of that root system is vital for its survival. The same is true with prayer. Some of us have prayed some pretty big prayers. And those prayers are going to need a solid foundation in order for in order to be sustained once we begin to see the prayer come to pass. So I want to impress upon you to remain in faith, remain in trust, exercise your patience, know that if you've prayed according to God's will, He's heard you. And if He's heard you, you've already been granted the request for your prayer. Give that foundation time to grow. Because when that prayer springs up, when you finally see the results of what you've been praying for, if that foundation is not squared away, it's not going to be able to sustain, it's not going to be able to withstand the pressures that come against it. So I want to leave you with that, and I want to encourage you that if you're standing in faith, keep standing. If you're hoping that your prayer has been heard, trust that it has been heard. Trust that what you have asked for is being grown and developed behind the scenes. It's not necessary that you see it. Just know in your heart that it's been granted. It's coming. It's developing right now. Hold on to it. Don't let it go. Continue on. As that farmer that waited five years before he saw results when he planted that little bamboo tree, you hold on to your faith. Don't let go. Persistence in faith will produce results. So I want to leave you with that today. And I want to invite fellow Christian YouTubers to join us in our YouTube community located at micro-ministries.com. And what our community is dedicated to is driving traffic to your YouTube channel. We supply fellowship, encouragement, support. We do SEO trainings. We have lots of tips and tricks to get you the traffic that you need to your channel to help fulfill the Great Commission via YouTube. Once again, that address is micro-ministries.com. It is a private community, so we'll need to send you an invitation. So send me an email at faithsmessenger at gmail.com, and I'll get that invitation over to you. By the way, post or paste the URL to your YouTube channel in the email message that you send us, and I'll get that invitation right over to you. 
I'd also like to extend an invitation to you to become a YouTube subscriber. And that way you will get notification when videos such as this one are posted. And lastly, I would like to invite you to become a subscriber on our blog at faithsmessenger.com. And in that way, you will receive notifications when new blog posts are posted. I would like to leave you with a question. And that question is, in your quest of patience and prayer and waiting and enduring, trusting that the seed underneath the soil is developing, I want to ask you as you face opposition to your, your answered prayer, is anything impossible with God? Have a great day, family. I love you, and I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.